Hello folks, I'm Dan. Working on a project that I kind of started a while back and sidelined. I did a couple of early videos on it on another channel that, that I've got. And I'm just going to kind of pick it up. What this is, is this is an Atlas 10 inch uh, lathe. I'm converting it into a turret lathe. Um, it'll be a production machine for me. I've got a few little small parts that this machine will work fine for. And this started out life as a parts lathe. Uh, long bed lathe and it was well worn, well used, and well abused. Um, not necessarily straight and just kind of in bad shape all the way around. And I've had it setting for quite a few years. What I ultimately decided to do was shorten it up to make it into a, into a turret lathe. The bed being worn and everything is not going to be a major factor for me. I'm not going to get real excited about rescraping the bed, resurfacing it, any of that stuff. I shortened it up approximately 18 inches. Um, yeah, I, for all intents and purposes, taken 18 inches off the bed. And this is the portion that I cut off is this part here which was at the headstock end and I've already drilled the two holes to mount our stuff back here I've got to drill and tap the two holes out here on the which will be the front we're looking at the back side of this uh, the back side of the lathe I've got to drill the two holes for the forward reverse box that mounts on the front of it and I've got a drilled and tapped hole here and a drilled and tapped hole here on the end of the bed so what I'm going to do is I'm just building a little fixture to, to bolt on to my headstock bolt holes, and that's what will index everything off of. And this is just going to be a cobbled together piece. I'm going to drill and bolt on this piece onto the end, which is going to, say, index everything else off of. And then I'm going to mount a piece, well, just tackle the piece on here with the um, drill size for this hole and the same way with the back. And then I'll drill to... Um, holes to locate those on the front and I'm just going to tack weld those pieces in place with the TIG welder just to index where they are that way I can take this completed unit set it on here and have my drill points correctly indexed for the uh, forward reverse gearbox and the same way with these two holes drilled and tapped on the back this is a one-time use you know I'll throw this little tool or this little fixture in the in the pile of Atlas tooling but it'll probably never get used again unless I decide to do another one of these which I very seriously doubt so anyway, just going to be a quick little cobbled up um, fixture so I can get these holes drilled and tapped and mounted up and ready to go. All right, well here's our little fixture for all four holes we've got to drill, two on top, one here, and one in the back. And we've just cobbled together our scraps. I'm gonna TIG weld these into place so they'll stay where they're supposed to be. And um, then I can go ahead and drill the, drill the other bed off of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up and then we'll pull it apart and see how it fits on the other bed. I got the first two holes drilled. Everything fits up the way it should onto my little fixture here. I'm going to go ahead and drill these other two holes. They're 2764, so I believe.
Okay. Well, for all intents and purposes, this bed, the machining is done on it in the feet, I believe. I'll go back and double check everything, make sure we're level when everything's bolted in place. And I will check these holes. I'll go ahead and mount the mount the gearboxes and the, the things that mount on here. This is for a banjo, I believe. I'll check everything, then we'll probably sandblast it down and powder coat it. The deadways themselves, I'll double check them. Like I say, the, the staining and everything on them and even being out of out of whack a little bit. You can actually see on this back bedway, you can see the wear mark down in through here. Especially right in this area, which is kind of where we, you know, this was headstock set on up here and we cut this section off to shorten it up. It's not really a major concern. I've got a, uh, everything that goes back on here as far as the main components anyway are our factory Atlas parts. I've got an Atlas turret tailstock that mounts on here. And, um... Then I've got a, uh, I've got a couple of production cross slides that I'll put on here. So we're really not going to utilize a lot of the uh, things that would be necessary on a standard lathe, where we're running a lead screw and things like that. Once uh, it's set up for a part, it'll be tuned in for that part, and once everything's mounted, nothing's actually going to move on the ways. So we can compensate for a lot of this wear just in the way we set that up. I've got the headstock apart. I may um, go back and rebabbit the headstock. It is a babbit headstock. So we may repour the babbits. We'll have to realign the tailstock and, and things like that for this for this bed and for this whole setup. Hopefully it'll uh, it'll inspire people a little bit. You can do a lot with a, a lot of nothing. I did a couple other videos on this that I put on my other channel. I will put a link up in the description someplace up in the, the overhead there to those videos if somebody's interested and wants to go back and watch them. If you find this useful, why go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any comments, suggestions, complaints, anybody that wants to tell me how bad I'm doing with this or everything I'm doing wrong, why leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for taking the time to watch.